Chloe was diagnosed through her heel prick test. Emotionally, I just felt distraught. So my main concern about cystic fibrosis was Chloe's life expectancy and her health during her life. I didn't really Google it, Stuart did and had read all sorts of things. After hearing the bad news, I needed to hear the good stuff about it as well. I first became aware of the CF Trust from diagnosis. Um, the hospital had made us aware of them and told us that's the trusted website to use. And now I'm on the website every, every other day nearly. I mainly communicate with families over the phone or email due to cross-infection risks. It does give me a sense of a CF community being out there and they're a great support. Their children are a lot older than Chloe. So I can ask them all sorts of questions. Ask for help. Don't try and, and cope with everything. It's hard enough having a newborn anyway with all the, the paraphernalia and, and sleep deprivation that comes with it. When I look back now, I don't know how we actually got through that. It, there was just so much going on. But I think it's all kind of just as you adapt and you get more relaxed. With Dylan, as he grows bigger, you realise he is just a normal child who you just need to take a bit extra care of, who needs these extra things. When she was about six months old, it just kind of took a back seat and just flowed. The new worries that have sort of emerged for me now would be going to nursery. Is she going to get a cough? Is she going to get a cold? Reading some of the other stories from other patients was really encouraging. He plays football four times a week. He um, plays at quite a high level. She's not phased by anything, doesn't seem scared by anything. She likes shouting. <laughs> Half seven in the morning is usually her favourite time. <laughs> The medical professional team that we were dealing with did say that medical advances are coming along very quickly. For other parents that have just had a CF diagnosis, not to worry. I know you're going to, it is hard, but give it time and it, it will become normal. There's nothing that we don't stop them doing anything, you know, they, they have a normal life, they go swimming, they go to all the clubs. My positive message to anybody else who's got a kid with CF at the starting is enjoy life and, uh, and, and get out and do all of those things. Now I've, I've returned back to work and CF is, to me, it isn't there anymore.